Howdy y'all, my name is Price, and welcome to the Magical Mixture Mill. We are back playing some more. Um, it's been a couple of weeks, but they actually just did their first update. Now, uh, I don't think it was much of a significant update in terms of additions. Um, I think it was mostly like a... Um, Patching, bug fixing, etc. But I do know they at least added one new item and they've added key binding, which um, I don't know that I need so much because I feel like I figured it out with my mouse buttons. But uh, maybe so. Maybe there is some use to it. Um, so let me just look at the options real quick. So key bindings, they've apparently fixed this. So this you can now use, which is pretty cool. If I need to, I'll, uh, I'll mess around with this stuff. Um, but I think mostly it was about... Um, using your abilities. Yeah, left click, right click, and then there was the other one. Anyway, anyway, we'll, we'll mess around with it. It's, it's been a little bit since I've played, so I'm kind of having to reacquaint uh, myself as well. So we've made some potions. Um, I've got a lot of ore that I was apparently about to smelt, and I'm thinking I was going to smelt it... I needed to make another furnace. That was the idea. Because these guys are all making bottles. So, what am I going to need to make another furnace? Excuse me. Um, bricks. I need some bricks. Uh, which we've got here. So, let's build our second furnace here. I know we've got a lot of things i got to do. I probably am forgetting some of the things that I said I would do last time. Um, sorry about me moving the mic around as well. Um, so... We're going to aim you... Well, for now... Where's the square? That's... I can't put it here, right? No, that. I can't put it there. So any of these spaces are fine. Okay, cool. So you're going to go here. And then I need to get um, a chest for uh, copper. Or not copper, for coal. Um, now there's a new chest. This one, the Rusher Crate, stores up to four stacks of resources, outputs four times faster than a normal crate. Oh, wow, it's expensive, though. And a sorter crate. <gasps> Stores up to four stacks of a resource, has three outputs, each with a customizable filter. If no filter is chosen, the crate simply outputs what it has. Time to get sorted. Wow. You could make some... Um, some nice things there, because you could, like, filter out maybe different qualities of bottles or different um, types of potions. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Well, then, now I need... Let's build that regular crate. Regular old crate. Okay, cool. I can fit it there. And then we need another one, right? Or let's just move this guy, to be honest. Move. Because um, for now, I think I just want the ores getting smelted. Um, and then we'll decide if we're taking them over to, the, um, to be made into bottles. Okay, so then over here, I need wood to make coal... And we're going to steal some of this wood, because I think we're waiting over here anyways for some things. Okay, cool. So now this should... Right? Are we working? Oh, I need to put you on. I turned you on, huh? Let's see. Cool, we're good. All right, let's grab potions out of here so we can put them up for sale. And then I'm going to look into what... Um, what quests we were going to do. In terms of what goes in chests... Oh, that's right. I have storage up over here. And then beyond that, I should just be, um... Woo-wee! I would love a sort button. Uh... Okay, let's put these away. Put those away. For now, we'll put the ores away. We'll put the grubs away. We'll sell these guys. Potions, I'll sell the ones that I can't, um... Get rid of here. Someone told me to uh, crush the geodes. I haven't even thought about that. Um, like, what a good idea. So, we're actually going to do that as well. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to move this guy. One of y'all suggested this to me, and I was like, oh my gosh, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so, we're going to do this, and we're going to throw our geodes in here, and let's see. No? Are you... You're on stop. Oh, there we go. Yeah! Cool. I'm curious. What comes out the other side? Is it just like... Is it gems or... Oh, okay, you can get stones. You can get all kinds of materials, is my guess. All right. Well, we'll let that run. Maybe you get, like, um, gems and stuff sometimes. Um, you are waiting on... Did I take the wood out of there? I must have taken it out of there when I meant to leave it in there. You know how it goes. Ins and outs, ups and downs. Move that stuff all around. Dude, gotcha gameplay. That's a new achievement. Don't know what it was for, but whatever. 
Okay, cool. Now, let's put things in here. Uh, where's our export? So we're gonna throw y'all in the export side. We're gonna check the potions here, and let's refill up on... Let's throw in some fancy haste. Let's throw in some fancy mana. Take out one of those. Let's throw in... There's probably some still in there, yeah. So then let's throw another set of mana in there. Yeah. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is we are going to export. We're going to sell the rest of these out here. Uh, and let's see what Griselda needs. Oh, hey there, dear. Bring me some bracket fungi. I might have some bracket fungi. She probably wants like 25. Um, bracket, bracket, bracket. I don't see brackets, actually. So we might grab some of those. We need to build an extractor and a bottler um, and connect them with a pipe. So I've already got... Both of those, right? So what I need to do then to make that work, we are going to uh, pause you. I'm going to move all this just down one because I don't want to really mess with the setup that much. So then what I'll do is go like that. And then with you, is that going to break the connection? Ah, oh, it did. Okay. Well, then I have to anyways. All right. So. Uh, you like, come on. Why? Why? Not you. You. Move. Okay, cool. It was being weird. Uh, all right, and so I was bringing them from here, right? This is where the bottles were going. We're just going to quickly do this. Into here. No? Is that not right? I do it from the wrong side, huh? Uh, connect. It's gotta go from that side, so it's the output into this input. Cool. Um, alright, and then you're making those. Uh, oh, and then let's connect the thing. So I need to go connect from you to you. Boom. There we go. Now, oh, did it not count me building these? Or I guess I haven't built a second one. I haven't built a second one. Okay, well, we're working on that. Building. What do we need for those? Um... I think that's why I was building up the ingots, honestly. And then I'm gonna need a lot of glass, I'm gonna need a lot of wood and stone. I've got glass over here, right? Yeah. So, we're gonna let this run. We are gonna go work on some other things. One of which I know is that I wanted to open up the other um, bridge, right? I don't think we made it across that bridge yet. Or maybe we did, because I don't see any petrified wood, and I know that was a thing that I was getting a lot of, unless I put it in a different chest. This is the problem with not being able to have just one giant storage system. Okay, well then what I'm gonna do is, since I'm not sure, uh, I'm gonna go run off, aha, there we go, I knew it. And we do have a bunch of, uh, of ores as well. Oh wait, those are from now, that's what I've been making now. Okay, cool, I've got my petrified wood. We can go and get other wood along the way, because I think it was something like 150 and 200 or something to that effect. But, uh, so, the update, it's mostly those chests, but even the sorter chest and the, the rapid chest or whatever, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Oh, and I need to be grabbing bracket fungi, which I believe is this stuff. No, 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 it's the stuff that's on stumps. That's right. Um, all right, well, here's too good of a spot to pass up, right? So, oh, 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 I need to eat a thing at some point. Well, we'll find one. We'll find one. So I think it's like this, and then like this. Yeah, space bar and right click, that works just fine. I'm guessing people like to do, um... I, I'm curious, like, people out there, let me know, what, why would you keybind? What do you want key bindings for? Um, not that I have anything against it, I, I think it's rad. I'm always all about, like, having more and more accessibility. I'm just curious what you're using them for, because I can't imagine a need for it. Maybe I've just gotten so used to playing the game as it is that I've just kind of, like, fallen into what I expect and whatnot. But, um, genuinely curious. Let me know out there, if y'all are uh, watching this, what, uh, what you're using it for. Um, okay. Let's keep it going. Because, like I said, we can gather wood while we're out here. And we're not even that far away from this whole area that's just covered in it. So even with, like, if there's, like, not too much wood right here, we can get that. Alright. My apologies if it's running a little slow. That just seems to be the case. I'm, I'm noticing it's kind of being a little framey at times. Um, let me see 
settings wise if there's anything I can do to re reduce that. Let's bring it down to 2x on that. Let's bring shadows down to medium. Nope, I said medium. Confirm. All right, that should help a little bit. Um, it helped a little. The, uh, oof, the anti-aliasing certainly um, adds a lot to processing. Okay, I need, whoa. Did they increase that number? I don't remember that being 20K. Okay, well then, um, we're pivoting. I think they changed that, right? Because 20K is a lot. Wow. Okay, we won't be getting over there quite yet. So then, pivot. Um, we're gonna work on building up our ability to automate our um, potion so we can sell a bunch. That's gotta be the next thing. So, let's see, I think I still have quests for, uh, for you out here, huh? Odie, you need like cure poisons or something? Unfortunate son. Anti-venoms, okay. So we'll figure out how to do anti-venoms. Um, I think that's gonna have to be when we get to a level two set of potions. So we're still trying to build up our, um, our, uh, our potion shop in order to do so. Our, our, uh, 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 what do you call it? Our capabilities. Um, okay, so then, let me just go back. We're gonna take a review of everything that we've got going on. And we will then, you know, go from there. Oh yeah! How are we doing on wood? Not bad. Um, I do always need more wood, so I guess I can take this opportunity to just kinda... Chop down a bunch of these trees. Do do do. Oh yeah, I should have uh, eaten you. Do do, do 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 Just get my my cooldowns back just a little bit faster. Okay. So I'm just trying to think what other ways can I make a bunch of money? Because like, I think going and um, you know gathering ores and selling those can maybe give us some. Um, mostly it's just about generating stuff. How much does this cost? 20k for that next upgrade as well. Wow, things are expensive. I mean, maybe it was always that cost and I just, like, completely, uh, spaced on it. Um, alright, we're gonna do one more spin to win. Do, do, do. Alright, there we go. Okay, so let's head back. I'm gonna take the long way because I don't want to have to deal with the bees right now. Um, but yeah, so I guess it's more now about automating our uh, potions just to be more effective, more efficient, um, and really selling them. So I guess using the higher quality bottles is definitely gonna help. Um, what I need to do is to do the thing that I like to do, which is let's set a chest aside and only put quest related items in there. I think that might have been what I was doing with that one before. Um, before I started having it pump the, uh, ores into there, but, um, that's fine. That's fine. And we do have a lot of quests for them, but again, until we get our potion game going up and, uh, higher, then it's not really that big of a deal. Um, wow, I did actually get that many. Thank you, dearie. So proud. All right. So, bottles... ...can go, oh, well, first... ...let's keep this going. And then we're gonna put regular bottles in there. Then, so this is the bottle maker, right? Just trying to think. So this, the charcoal is coming from that side, but you don't pump charcoal into here. So why did I have it doing that? Hold on, hold on a second. Because <laughs> you put glass and metal in here. So why do I have it set up that way? Oh, because it was having glass automatically made over here. That's why. The glass was being made there. I was like, what is going on? Why would I do that? Okay. Circle gets the square. What did we get out of here? Whoa! Diamonds and sapphires? I don't think I've seen a diamond yet. Okay, let me move you. I took everything out of there. Let me move you to here. Okay, so then it's sandstone to make more. 
And we are going to... Oh, let's definitely fill you up with wood. Sticks are the best way to go to start with, because they have no other purpose, as far as I can tell. Let's throw a little bit more wood in here. And let's build... I wanted to build a... Another crate, maybe. Well, no, let's build another chest. It's just a couple of ironing. It's not that bad. Um... Are you going? You're processing. Okay. So then, yeah, let's build a chest. We're gonna put it out here. I also need to check with Boggle Woggle and just double check what I need to upgrade um, this place. So we're gonna put the petrified wood in here for now. Um, and uh, we'll put some wood in there for now. We'll put all the wood in there for now. Okay, everything else is either for making potions or for selling, I think. Uh, what's in here? Sure, we can throw some of y'all in there. And what's in here? Cool. Right, because these are feeding each other, so I should just keep making bottles. Or keep making, uh... You know what I'm talking about. Potions. Uh, okay. I mean, I've got a bunch of glass over there, so that's nice. We have sold some potions! Cool. Storage. We, uh, store you and you. All these things. Do you have any storage for you? Nope. Eventually, I'm gonna really have to get through all that stuff now that we're hitting that kind of point. Selling the valuables, selling you. For now, I'm gonna just drop this copper off in here. We know that we're gonna eventually use it with the bottles. Um, okay, it's so about to be like, why isn't it going in there? All right, so then what I need is I just need some sandstone um, to get going. And so I think that I must have already used all of it, and that's why we're in this situation. Yeah, I've got a lot of clay. So, with my last couple of minutes of the day, can we maybe sneak getting some more, uh, sand? We'll see. We'll see. I might end up passing out, but that's fine. I'm gonna not gather so many ingredients at the moment, just so I can kind of get a feel for where we're at with everything. Um... But yeah, I hope that y'all are still digging, checking this out. Obviously, this is one of those series that's going to take us a while to really get through the content that's out there. And, you know, by the time we do, we're probably in a situation where um, there's going to be another update. And now it's time to get some more. So um, definitely a lot of... Uh, Potential, a lot, of, a lot of legs in this game, so I hope y'all are still enjoying watching it. I'm enjoying playing it, checking it out with all these updates. Um, whoops. Meant to do this. I forgot that the uh, pickaxe doesn't work like the axe, where you don't get that, like, stronger move. You just get a big AoE move. Okay. But yeah, so, um, I'm really looking forward to the updates when we can actually get, like, a much bigger uh, place. Um, we can have, like, a much larger, more complex system of, uh, our potions going along. So, I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get a little bit more of this sandstone, then we're gonna head back, and I wanna make sure to talk to Boggle Woggle about what we need to expand. I think it's mostly money. I think it's mostly money, and then we're gonna set aside tomorrow, next day, uh, we are going to set aside everything that we need other than the money. Although it may just be money. I'm not positive. Okay. One last little... <laughs> cool. Alright. So that should give us a good amount of sand. From the sandstone. Um, we'll be able to crush the sandstone as well as we have the raw sand, so that's great. We have the glass that we already have, but I like having some glass set aside for project related things for the bottlers extractors and all that and then having our other set that's for um making the bottles uh and so right now our focus i guess is just going to be on let's make all the highest quality bottles that we can so that our potions sell for the highest value that they can um and i also think i'm not positive but i think that the quality of the bottle allows you to make higher instability um, potions. Like it says, certain potions need a higher quality bottle to function. Um, okay. So then, sand go here. Oh, we got a lot. Wonderful. And sandstone go here. And do I even, do I still have some wood on me? No, I dropped it all, huh? Do, 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 gonna make another crate. Do, 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 isn't that great? Now, my thing about the rapid moving 
um, things is that you're still limited by the speed of the machine. But maybe that does mean, like, there is a hand, like, I'll say, if it takes one, two, three, four. Okay, so it takes four ticks, we'll say, to complete a cycle here. And then there's like one tick between it starting again. So maybe you can save that one tick. That's my thought. Okay, now we just have a double set, so it'll keep going for a longer period of time. Um, let's grab more of these. Just so we can ensure we're making as many bottles overnight as we can. How are we doing on time? All right, real fast. Boggle Woggle, tell me. Expand workshop. Coins, stones, bricks, wood, clay. Okay, we'll be able to upgrade that maybe today. Because we should make some money overnight. And I sold a lot of potions during the day. So let's find out. Come on. This is like the first new day since the up, uh, update, so I'm curious if there's issues. It shows the time of day is paused. We're looking a little frozen here. Not a good sign. All right, it looks like everything's saved. How's my money, though? Okay, cool. Everything got collected. For some reason, it, uh, it, it locked up in the evening. I had to Alt F4. So, at least it saved my progress, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. I didn't get to see exactly what updates or what progress I made, but that's fine. So, what do we need? I need... Oh, sorry, bud. How may I be of assistance? All right, 400 stone, 100 bricks, 100 wood. We have some of this. So brick-wise, oh, I think I spent all the bricks, actually. Well, no. No, 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 I put some in storage, right? I want to say I had a bunch of bricks. Uh, in the storage side. Ten. Not so much a bunch. Um, let's check inside the chests as well. Not in there. No, I guess not. So then, we pause this guy, we pause this guy, and we're going to throw a bunch of these guys in here. So it should put into the chest, but it won't pop out of that chest. Um, we got glass in the bottles going. Is this working? Oh, are they not turned on? What's this one missing? What are you missing? Open. Are you paused? You're paused. Okay. You're on. Okay, so none of that got made overnight. Darn. Uh, that's fine, though. So, these guys will start bottling once that gets full. Let's take the few potions that we made. And, uh, put those up for sale. Still, we've got a nice set of potions in here, so we'll, we'll make some sales during the day. We've got 10k, so we've got enough money. How much wood and how much stone do I already have? Because it looks to me like we're gonna go on a big stone run. That's the, that's the main one. Um... And then wood. I know I put some wood in here. So we've got not quite. We need a little bit of wood. Putting our stone away. I know we need bricks and money. And was there anything else? Bricks, wood, stone, coins. Okay, let's grab a little bit of wood. Oh, it's clay as well. Well, we've got clay. Yeah, I've got sacks of clay over there. So, stone. Stone, mostly stone. Stone, stone, stone. So what's the best spot for stone? Stone. I guess it's just down um, at the mine area. Later on, I think we'll find another spot that'll have more stone. I'm not positive if it's a better spot or not, but there are other spots that have stone. This spot out here, I think, uh, with the mines, is the best place to get stone, right? And then we got sandstone over to the west, and then when we eventually get north, I think... I'm trying to think. I want to say it's just, it's like more ore than stone, but I mean, you still get stone from ore. So it's like, you'll get stone from, from both places. But we are not going to be able to get up there for quite some time. I, I am curious if they raised the price on that or if just when I played on my own that I had gotten so much stuff by the time that I got to there that uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. That's what I'm curious about. Oh, I forgot to eat a thing again. Um, well, I can, uh, eat that one. Consume. It's better than nothing. 
Okay. All right, smashing some rocks. Um, okay, so well, once we expand, I'll do some moving around, and then we're really gonna focus on just getting that other extractor bottler set up going. Um, and that is, you know, mostly so we can increase our profit. And because it seems like I can't really do much else until we're able to make that money. So to make that money, I'm gonna need to do a, uh, a lot more production. Um, it may even be necessary for me to set up more bottle production. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna have to see about that. Gosh, I'm curious about how I'm gonna use the, the splitters and stuff. Like, I'm so excited that those are in here. And now that, like, now that I know, not only, now that I know that they're in there, right, because I've looked at them, but now, like, having an idea of how they work, you know, like, seeing, like, oh, okay, it's got three splitter filters, um, so that's cool. And it sounds like what you can do is have two filters set to filter out, and then one that's, like, all of the, um, everything else, right? My hope would be that you can have a general filter, and I hope that that's something, if it's not in here now, that they add later, but basically a way to do a filter that's not like each individual item, but instead like, oh, um, things with intellect, and, uh, or I don't, I forget, what, what do you call the blue stuff? I think it's intellect, um, or wisdom maybe, uh, uh, essences, right? Or then like, Taste essences or health essences or whatever, right? Um, because then I could do like just come back, drop all of my stuff into like a chest system or you know a, um, one of those uh, sorting systems, and then it would automatically sort it into where it needs to go, right? By slowly splitting off in all the different directions. But if you had three of those and each one could split off in two directions, by the third one you would be able to have them all sorted. Actually, if there's only five essence types, you would only need two. Um, if there's a general filter. Otherwise, I think really what you use it for then is going to be some very specific situations. Like if I want to split maybe ores going in certain directions, like different ones, like, um, you know copper one way, iron another way, silver another way, gold another way, etc. Um, so that's a thought. That's that's a potential, if that's a thing. That I need to look into. That I need to look into. So I would like to make one of those. If we don't get to it today, then we'll make one next time. Because um, I do want to see it in action. I do want to see it in action. It really just comes down to how much it costs versus, you know, how much, how many resources I'm going to be wasting, quote unquote wasting, to, uh, finish this thing. All right, now I'm losing rocks. How many we got? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 400. Uh, okay, cool, perfect. Sweet, neat, love it. Uh, we'll go around this way. Not sure if they shored up those edges. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this is a, a minor update, but I do think that what they put in, they were like thinking about, okay, what can be significant? Because I do think the speed the speed chest will help with the sorting system in order to get things from different directions into specific places so that you're not clogging up the system, whatever the main system is. Um, so I think that that'll be how we'd have to do it. Like if you had a chain of three to four fast ones that you just threw all your raw ingredients into and then just pumped through into other chests and things and then got sorted from there, um, that would be nice. Again, if there's a general filter. Gosh, I'm curious. Oh, I'm, I'm now that I'm talking myself into it, man, I'm curious. Okay, so. Now that I've got my 400, uh, stone. I need to put away some of this stuff. Oh, nice makeup potions. All right, uh, let's go take our... We'll put away whatever I can here. Storage. Okay, so we're gonna put away you, we're gonna put away you. Actually, you are valuable. Don't need to put you away, put you away, put you away. You, you, um, you. Okay, these are valuables, valuables. And lots of stone and wood and clay we need and that we need, so that's cool. Uh, exports. You, you, and you make me money. 
How are we doing on potions? We could use some mana potions up in there. And heal potions, which I think we have both. Yeah, heals. We don't have manas. Those will be coming through. Um, here we go. Health potions. That's nice. Uh, right as he comes in. He'll probably buy those. Um, okay. Then ingredients. What do I need? I need wood. Oh, I probably need like three more wood. Um, clay and bricks. Yep. Wait, a hundred bricks? Oh. Oh. We got him. <laughs> okay. And then did I have enough wood? Was it just 50? N uh, wait. Did I not just grab... Why did I think there were more? Yeah. I just... Sometimes you don't... You go too fast. You go too fast. Oh, nope. Yep. Nope. Shut it. Okay. Expand. We're cool. Do it. All right. They're going to be expanded overnight. That's awesome. We're going to get doubled. We're going to have... Wow. It's going to be awesome. Tons of space for activities. All right. While we let all that stuff go... Um... Okay. Not talking to. So now that's as big as we'll be able to get, uh, I believe, uh, in this update. Um, and I don't know when they're planning on adding this, this, and this. Um, but for now, I think this is about as big as we're going to get. So just know that that's what the space we're going to be working in. It still ends up being a little cramped once we get into the more complex machinery. But um, for now, we're okay. So then what will it cost for me to get one of these guys? Money. And money. Lots of money. Okay. Then we're going to wait on those. Distiller. I can pay for the distiller. Which I think we're going to need to do just so we can get those tier 2 potions. So we're going to unlock it. There's our 5k spent. And then glass, ingot, ingot, brick. Uh, I don't have enough bricks, but beyond that, I think we can make everything else work. So we're going to get some more of this clay. We're going to pump out a bunch of bricks overnight. Um, so that'll definitely be useful. Um, and then we'll be able to build that guy, probably. Um, we're getting bottles coming through. We got ingredients over here actually starting to run down. You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, storage. What can we make them out of now? We'll make some fungus. We'll make some god wheat. We'll make some go-go's. And we'll make some proud caps. Boop a doop boop. Okay, you, 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 and you. Um, you're full over there. What's your space like over here? Um, you, then you, and then you fit there. All right, cool. Put the rest away. Beep boop. Go to the exports because I forgot to throw you in there. And then. Okay, bricks can go in there. Oh, and clay can fit too. All right. Uh, <laughs> look at all this stuff we got in here. My goodness. Let's throw some more sandstone, sandstone up in here. We got so much. This is great. I love it when you're like full on a bunch of the ingredients that you want to use. Um, all right, how are we doing on these copper guys? Still doing great. Uh, let's go grab a bunch of our ores and get more of those pumping through. Um, obviously, I'm going to need to turn the coal back on, but um, I can at least get these set up and uh, get it out of my inventory. <laughs> so, iron, copper, iron, iron. And we'll still leave this. Oh, it's still got a bunch. So, um, yeah, we'll let it run. It's going to get clogged with a brick at the end of it, but I can deal with that in the morning. Okay. Potions. How many more have been made? Oh boy. You, 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 and you, and they are gonna be spendy. Okay. Cool. We can fit most of them in here. No, all of them. Cool. I thought I might add one extra. So, missing mana potions, which is too bad, but they will get into the system eventually. Tons of bottles coming through. Eventually, those bottles will turn into basic bottles, um, but that's fine. We can still throw this iron in there. That'll make us some. And that'll be cool. And why are you not going? Open. Are you paused? You are paused. That's why. Going? There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. Let the day cycle. Let us get our money. We'll have one more day. 
and we'll kind of see where we're at in terms of getting things done. Oh, that money. All right, you know, a little bit in exports, 336. It paid for a quarter of our taxes. <laughs> uh, okay, so, all right, we're getting quests. We're getting lots of quests. Um, have I talked to any of them yet? I want to say I talked to her, but I'm not positive. Okay, look at that. The expansion. Boggle, what's up? Anything? Nope, same old stuff. Uh, so upgrades we now know. Um, upgrades coming soon. Told you it would get clogged with a brick. Uh, pause this. Open. Oh, I need to pause that one too. Uh, pause. Open. Take you. Okay. Now, I'm still gonna need to get more of that going, but look! Look at all this room for activities. Now, I need to think about how we want to rearrange things. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do to make this simpler for myself is stop everything. Um, let me check all the stuff that was made overnight. And let's go ahead and throw these extra potions into here. Um, and let's talk to you before you leave. What you got, Zen? Uh, let's see. I tell you, my recent decision to leave behind a tenure at the Royal School of Sorcery might be the best decision I ever made. And the insinuation that I could not do so, I thought, is of course preposterous. Regardless, no more theory. No, I want to be out here casting fireballs myself, not teach others how to do it. Adventuring isn't just for youngsters. Oh, but quite exciting days. Exciting days indeed. I have just received a most urgent and important quest that requires some magical assistance in liquid form. Something that can replenish my physical and mental faculties. What can you do for me? All right, and what do they want? Mana potion, poison potion, wisdom potion. See, all these quests, we have to wait until we have the, the distiller anyway. So the distiller is definitely going to be the next thing that we want um, on top of the extractor and bottler. So... What am I going to need to build both of these? Wood, glass, iron, stone, glass, iron, and that's it. So let's grab all that stuff that I can. So let's grab a bunch of iron. I know I had some stored in here too, right? Uh, let's grab some glass. Uh, we need wood, which I'm out of, I think, generally. And then stone maybe for another one? Yeah, stone for that one. Okay, so let's grab stone. Actually, I might not have stone either. Oh, no, cool. I had a little extra. Do you have wood? No wood. We'll, get, we'll go get wood, but beyond that, that's fine. So what I am going to do, though, is we'll go ahead and we'll build the extractor. The extra extractor, right? And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to grab this one and move it up there. That might leave behind some stuff, so hopefully, you know, the explosion of it is fine. Okay, we'll have those guys up there. Um, we're still going to need to make the other bottler. Oh, yep, I stepped in potion. It hurts. Okay. So then, you know, we'll move all this stuff in a bit once we've got this sorted, but bottler, that's the next one. So let's go get some wood. How are we doing inventory again? Ah, we're fine. Let's go get some wood. Um, oh, did I get your quest yet? Hazel? All right, listen. I have a lead on a big opportunity. Let's just say I know where to find a certain valuable artifact at a certain high-profile location. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Can't say more. Except that it's written on the back of the U.S. Constitution. Sure, it's risky, but I'd be a fool not to go for it. There's only one wee little snag. This certain location is guarded by a certain type of canine guardian. Know what I mean? See what I'm getting at? No? Okay, well I need poison, okay? Alright. So they need... Wisdom Poison Mana? No, that's the, uh, the Necromancer. Either way, all those quests are over here. Um, Gambits and Gambling, Healing Haste Poison. Oh, we can make those! Healing Haste Poison we can make. Um... Commercial endeavors. Oh, <laughs> make an investment. Uh, I need a lot of money for that one. So uh, actually, we're going to repin this one. Um, what about how do you do fellow venture? Mana, cure disease, and rejuvenation. We can't do rejuvenation yet, so we're going to unpin you. Unfortunate sun. I need anti-venoms. We can't do that yet, so I'm going to unpin you. Gambits and gambling. We can do. And how do you do fellow adventure? We cannot do commercial endeavors, gambits, and gambling. What was this one? Healing, haste, poison, right? Hen, hex, mana, poison, wisdom. Can't do that. Okay. And scaling production, working on it. Okay, so then we need to build a bottler. So we're getting wood. Cool. Doo -ba -doo. I'm so stoked that it, we have a bigger place now. That's just going to help so much. Um, we're going to go 
little bit further out here where we know there's just massive trees right next to each other. Get that done. Let's, um, let's close this up. Okay. So with another bottler, then I can kind of, I was going to say specialize, but just more, um, localized to specific types, right? So I could have one of them doing like poison and haste and the other one's doing like healing, mana, and whatever god we is. Life essence? Now life is healing, right? Soul essence, I think, is what it is. Um, ah, here we go. It's a nice little thicket. Give me the tweez. Perfect. And smash. And that's probably enough. I'm going to get rid of these stumps because I do feel like stumps, if you leave them all out for too long, they just, a lot of them turn into bracket fungi. Just takes more time, I think, for them to regrow. So I like kind of not leaving a million stumps out here. You know what I would love that I just realized? Would be a lock. If I could have a lock feature where I'm like, okay, I want to lock this slot to always hold a certain item. And the reason I want that, I'm just gonna tell it, just say the exact reason I want it, is I want to be able to hold on to the items that I know I'm going to want to eat at certain times, right? Because otherwise I'm gonna keep throwing them into my chest, I'm gonna keep using them as ingredients because they, of the way that they stack and whatnot, but if I could lock a slot, at least then when I picked them up, it would guarantee that I will pick them up because that slot is saved. Similarly, if I know I'm going to want to be getting, say, like the grubs or something like that, I could lock a bunch of slots for grubs so that I can keep on picking them up while all of the other resources, you know, get dropped on the ground or whatever, like everything else. I just have to do less of the like opening, closing, opening, closing, dropping, etc. that I've been doing in the past. Okay, we've got an extra extractor. We need an extra bottler. Perfect. And if I could afford three, I need more wood for that. What about another extractor. I can afford another one of these, so I will get one. We're gonna need more. We're gonna need more. And then bottler, all I need is a little bit more wood. Just go pop outside and grab that. So now with three, it's a pretty good spot. But the reason that I want to get three is because when I do get the distiller, which I only need bricks and copper, so I should have those, then we can set that up. Um, so actually, we're gonna do that here in just a moment. Great. So we can maybe get our first level two potions get that started up oh yeah and the fact that we're already making nicer bottles um that's great we're gonna get a lot out of it the first time i played this and this is why when i uh um did the episodes on youtube i um restarted and got my warrior up to here is because the first time i did this on my own i didn't make special bottles until way after i had unlocked everything else because i didn't know that that's what you do um so that was silly on me. The game tells you somewhere. It says, like, you know, adding ingots or adding metal makes bottles fancier. I just never thought about it. And then I feel like someone on stream told me, and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I was like, all right, we're starting over. We're starting over. Um, so, uh, because we're already making those, these level two potions, we're, we're going to make some money. We're going to make some money. These ones, I want to make sure that I break these, because I really like having some, some emergency trees, some emergency stone. Um, it's quite useful. Okay, so let me make sure I can actually... We already got the other one. <laughs> I probably have enough stone somewhere, but also we, we already have one. Uh, okay, so we're going to buy this guy first. So we have a third bottler. Okay, perfect. Now, distiller. Glass, copper, brick. But um, boom. Did I take all the glass already? I need... No, I got it. Okay, cool. Right? Or do I need one more? One more! Okay, um, what we do is... Can we open you? Okay, we are going to set you to go. Do you not have any? We got no coal. So we're gonna throw some of that in there. Right? Okay. So, I want just one to process, because then I can just grab it from here, I feel like. And so with this guy paused, wait, you start. That's right, I paused everything, I forgot. Okay. But that's good, because I'm going to move everything around. Right now, I just want to build everything, you know? Gimme! Wait, we're going to pause, open, wait, 
Wait, did you go in there? Wait, where'd you go? Where did it go? Did it go in here? Where'd they go? Open. Go. Stop. Cool. I thought maybe it would grab one. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, build. Distiller. Oh, I need bricks and copper. Um, I have a bunch of bricks over here, right? Beep, boop, bop, boop. And copper ingots I should have. Perfect. Build. Come on. Distiller. All right. Nice. All right. So we're getting level two, y'all. So let me set this up so that we can have this running. And um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to show y'all. Oh, and you know what? I need to finish the Boggle Woggle quest by connect. Connect. There we go. Um, let's see what Boggle Woggle's all about. Talk. That should do. Now, all that's holding you back is your own resource gathering abilities. No lack thereof. That is all I can do for you for now. Consider this the end of your goblin demonstration period. You are free to do whatever you want now. Okay, cool. Tiny little bit of money. Done with Boggle Woggle for now. Until the next update, basically. Okay. So, we can have it this tightly packed. Um, and that works. So what I'm going to do then is... Do I have any wood on me? A little bit. Uh, we're going to do this. And uh, I'm going to go grab another little bit of wood. And we're going to set those up over there. And I'll make three... Actually, you know what? We can just go ahead and take this one. It's going to break the chain, but that's fine. Um, stuff will just stay. Right? Is that going in? Oh, no, no, no. It's already got one going in. I need... Move. I need you going... Out. And then I want two for going into those. Um, there's a couple ways to set it up. There's one way. I'm actually going to probably twist it to make it one way so it'll be even simpler to throw things in. Like, not by a lot, but just simpler. Um, so then, we're just going to grab a couple of those. Chop, chop. I've still got some of the power, so use it, right? I'm going to need, like, 50 more wood. Cool. I keep hitting t uh, tab because I've been playing other games. I need to be hitting I for inventory, although there's key bindings. What does tab do right now? Nothing. Tab does nothing. Neat. Hi. Working on your stuff, Zambi. What a cool name, Zambi. Uh, all right. Chests slash crates build. One and two. Okay. So, I was saying there's like a more efficient way to do this, right? So the way I like to do it, it takes up a larger footprint, so it's not the best idea, but um, it does make it so that you don't even have to walk up. So what I'm doing, is we're going like this, we're going like this, and we're going like that. So then what I do is we're going to move you over to here. So it automatically goes in there, and then I like to do the long connection rather than doing the long um, magical path, whatever you want to call that. So then you, same deal, moving you to here, and we connect you to you. So then I have all my chests right here, right? So it's like, oh, and then last one, last one. This one you do have to connect the magical way. But as you can see, A, every single one of these squares is being used. So this is a three by four um, because any empty spot is actually being used by a connector. Um, you fill each of these chests with the things that you want to be filling it with. And um, then you make your um, potions. So let us, we're going to fire this guy back up. Start. Um, cool. And I do have wood going here. Let's get some more wood going there. And that'll start making us some fancy bottles, right? Let me go get the ingredients that we want to combine together. So one of the things that we wanted to make is a, nope, uh, uh, rejuvenation potion, which I believe is made with these ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw those in there. Now, what are they unstable? They are not unstable. So that's perfect. And then we're going to put 
these in here. So neither of these are unstable, so they'll both work fine without exploding. Um, and then I'm going to need to turn those on, but I want to make sure I at least get a couple of bottles, you know? Um, and I can set this thing up to do the circuit around to get to there, but obviously look at it. I mean, it's in such a mess of a state right now. It would have to go like, wee all the way around to there, right? So I don't really want to be setting that up unless we were going to bed right now, which we might be. Um, but I just want to grab a couple just to show y'all. And then from there, we will, uh, we will move on. So open, go. And then we want to, I'm turning them on one by one because I don't want to turn on necessarily every one of my machines, considering some of them are just going to drop stuff on the floor, I think. Um, okay, so then we go play, then we go play. Okay, now let's watch. So these, these are waiting for ingredients, right? And I love that they did this. Now it'll wait. It won't keep pumping out bottles until it's got something to put them in. So I love that. So now you don't have to worry about um, all that stuff. Okay, what do we got? Okay, I think it made one basic mana potion at the beginning. Yeah, because it just had a but No! Cat's eye. How did that happen? Oh, there was probably fluid left in here. There was probably fluid left in here from when it was over here. So it used that last bit of, I'm guessing, green. Let's go look. So now we got rejuvenation potions, y'all. Look at that. Um, I will quickly, in a very janky way, set up this connection just so that overnight it works, you know? Boop. And yeah, let's go look at our potion decks, um, whatever you want to call it. The, is it it's research? No, it's under here. Bookshelf, Shroomopedia, mixtures, cat's eye. Yeah, green and blue is cat's eye, and then red and blue is rejuvenation. So then next time, we'll do the other combinations of all of these. I think this is probably anti-venom, maybe? No, anti-venom is probably cure and poison. And then this one is some kind of, like, healing mixture of some sort. And then we'll get the ones with the yellow. Okay, cool. So, yeah, oh, and then, yeah, we combine these ones together as well. And we combine these ones together as well. And we combine these, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. So... Getting all those things, like we've obviously gotten most of these guys unlocked, which is neat. But we got our potions going. Let's see how things are looking over here. It's all going. It's just slow. I'd love it if we could get... Um, oh, it's waiting for bottles, is why. I would love it if we could find a way to make all this stuff faster, you know? Ooh! I just thought of a good idea for... Um, like speed, rapid, um, chests, whatever you want to call them, rapid crates, is having a bunch of bottlers and all that kind of stuff pump into the same chest or having them go into a regular crate and have all those go into the same crate that's like the fast one and then have the fast one go out to here because if nothing else, it's going to create a much more um, full line of these things going, right? Because it's going to be like boom, 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 boom. And because you're coming in from multiple directions, you should be able to keep up. But, you know, that's if you get a setup where you have two bottlers, two, you know, two of everything. Um, okay, last thing I'm going to do before we go to bed, we're going to fill those up with as many ingredients as we can and uh, make as many potions as we can. So let's grab a bunch of these guys, grab a bunch of these guys, and we'll even add some of them. They will increase the quality. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and these already should be a pretty good quality because we're using these brain fungus. Why are you in there? Uh, oh, no, that is the chest you're supposed to be in. Um... This is the chest that I want to be opening. You and you. And then open this. And we go you and you and you and you. Perfect. So those will make some nice potions. And and that's that. We'll go to bed. Hopefully it doesn't crash overnight again. If it does, then I'll just quickly restart and pop up at the next day. And, and we'll close it up there. I haven't set this guy up to make basic potions again yet. But we'll, we'll get that going next time. Because we'll have all the ability to do so. I'll probably build another basic extractor. So we can have two of these running. One distiller running. And then we work towards the advanced distiller. We just have to get a bunch of tier 2 potions. Which we're doing. We're already doing it. Um... Lastly, I guess I can grab a bunch of just non-explosive, um, um, unstable. Things that aren't 
unstable and uh, put those in here as well. Now one thing I will say that I think is the case is that you don't want to put, um, you don't want to combine the same kind together, I don't think, unless you can guarantee that the bottle is strong enough to handle it. I think I've, I've had experiences like that in the past. All right, and then we'll throw green on the other side. And then that way it's mostly full. And then for this, I'm actually going to have that stuff go elsewhere. It's not going to be able to cross that. Um, but we will put another chest. You know what? Let's move this guy. It's going to be our last thing. Move. To here. Perfect. So now I won't run out of space for the potions as they're coming through. All right. Going to bed. We're going to see what we get in the morning. Okay. Here we go. Almost 5k? Oh, and I didn't export anything. All right. Well, three and a half k. Not bad. Doot, 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 doot. Perfect. New day. Yes, it is. Okay, y'all. Well, let's see how many potions we got. Um... Because I'm just curious. Yeah, we, we ran through all the bottles, all the glass. Oh, we ran through basics because we ran out of copper and stuff. And that's fine. That's fine. Look at this. We got rejuvenation potions. That's part of a quest. Then we just need healing and mana, I think. And we can actually finish that quest for the wizard, I believe. Um, so... All right, y'all. Well, we're going to go ahead and say that that's where we're going to end this because it's been almost an hour. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Magical Mixture Mill. We will, of course, be doing more and uh, definitely looking forward to all of the updates. So I'm going to keep my eyes on the Discord. Um, but yeah, with that, y'all, I hope you enjoyed. Um, please leave a like, comment down below. If you can't think of anything to comment, be like, um, uh, oh, please, Boggle Woggle, be nice. Please be nice, Boggle Woggle. Uh, but most importantly, y'all, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I have been Price, and I will see y'all next time. You're so rude. <laughs>